Well, the news here at 6, the political season has come to the Eastern University campus and it has claimed a sitting student senator. An eight-year-old Facebook post of the man wearing blackface came to light and caused quite a bit of campus commotion. Rod Maloney live on campus with more on this story. Rod, this was uh, once the student's Facebook profile picture, I guess. Yes, exactly, Devin, and it was easily found, and it shows what uh, social media can do to your life uh, if it turns anti-social. Now, this is how this all came about. This senator wanted to run for president. He had a running mate who was going to work with him uh, and to go for vice president, but he also worked for the newspaper and did some vetting of his running mate. Well, he found the picture, and instead, it wound up in the paper, and the vice president pulled out of the race. This is 27-year-old Eastern Michigan University student Reed Scott. He pulled down the offending picture from his Facebook page today. But its publication yesterday in the Eastern Michigan University newspaper prompted student government president Ethan Smith to say... He needed to go as soon as possible. Originally appointed a senator to fill a vacancy in 2018, students elected Scott last fall. But after the blackface-themed article hit, the Senate immediately moved to impeach him, President Smith agreeing with the move. This racist practice of blackface is particularly damaging due to its disgusting, abhorrent historical context to our black students, that a, a figure that has been so thoroughly discredited has no place as a part of student government. Local 4 reached out to Scott, and he did not return phone calls or texts. In the newspaper, he did say that the incident was a party prank, that he'd passed out on the floor and his friends gave him the blackface while unconscious at a very different time in his life. He did not apologize and did not explain why he decided to post the picture as a profile snap. He sought the presidency, that is, until this morning. As of um, around 9.30 a.m. this morning, he did submit his resignation and it was accepted by the Speaker of the Senate. Now, the president did say that he and other members of the Senate, uh, the president there and the senators wanted an apology uh, from Reed Scott, didn't get it. And in the meantime, the president says that he's going to go about the business of better vetting all the candidates or something like this doesn't happen again. Reporting live in Ypsilanti, Rod Maloney, Local 4.